Hello everyone and welcome to my hobby home. My name is Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me today and we're going to get right on into it. I'm doing something a little different today. It's going to be a tester Tuesday. We are going to be testing another block out. I have my two colors here. Kind of Halloween-y looking, isn't it? I thought it did. These are some leftover fabrics that I have from my grandma's scrap quilt. And I thought, well, I have these fabrics left and I have a block I would like to try. It is the Disappearing 4-Patch. And um, I don't know if y'all have done one before. I have never done one. So I wanted to try it out. The Disappearing 4-Patch, what you do is you have two colors and then two backgrounds i'm using my orange as my background i guess that's what it is um and what you do is you place them like so you so what i'm going to do is sew them at a quarter of an inch both of them it really doesn't matter which direction i'll just flip it whichever direction I need it to be going to put them together and they as long as they're on a diagonal you know they're opposite one another they will be opposite one another I have a black black and an orange orange so I am just going to get into sewing this because I have never done a disappearing four patch before so I thought, well, let me just try it because I saw this pattern and thought, well, that would be a very easy pattern to do with some of my charm packs that I have. I have quite a few charm packs and it calls, the actual quilt calls for like a full charm pack almost. So I'm like, well, this is a very simple pattern and simple looking block. I say that I've never made one, so don't let me mislead you because I have no idea. What I am going to do um, is press away from the background, which will be to my dark color right now. I'm going to press and be right back. Okay, I've got both of them done. I'm going to go ahead and nest these and a four patch is just like a nine patch but you only have four blocks or four squares four pieces of fabric i'm going to match these up and then sew these two together to make my four patch and y'all i will tell you i saw so many different variations of this pattern online and I thought I have to try this I've seen variations where you it, it doesn't have a pattern to it at all or and I have seen some where it does make a pattern when it is sewn um, together it makes a different pattern so now what i am going to do since i've sewn the two together um, my instructions tell me to just press to one side or the other so i am going to um, press this again and be right back okay now that i have my four patch done uh, I know you cannot see this. I may try to turn you down just a bit so you can see it. One moment. Okay, now that I have you turned down on my table here, we are going to look at this. And what we are going to do is measure one inch either side of the center seam and cut. So let me, sorry about that lay my ruler right down on that center seam 
where I have my one inch line on that center seam there. I probably need my rotating mat for this. So I am going to get this out because we will need to be turning that and I don't want to mess that up turning it. And I have a little kitty cat here wanting pets. Oscar seems to be wanting to make more and more appearances here lately. And so I'm cutting one inch. on each side so I'm going to turn this again And this will be my turn three making sure I'm putting it on that one inch line there and one more time Now, if you have a two inch ruler, you can cut on both sides at the same, you know. Well, you can't do it at the same time if you're cutting. <laughs> but now let me show you what that gives you. You end up with nine pieces. Let me separate those so you can see the nine pieces. You have nine pieces here. And what you will do, I'm going to move my ruler out of the way here. This piece is going to be turned, I think this direction. This piece is flipped this piece is flipped this your squ squares here stay the same so no it goes this direction <laughs> I have a kitty cat wanting attention what are you wanting baby okay so this is how we have our block ready to sew up so I am going to put my table back on my machine here and we are going to start sewing so i will sew these two first and then add this one but what i may do is do these two these two then these two and then add this just to make it quicker and we will get this on the machine here real quick And I just noticed my thread got wrapped around my foot here. It'll pull, but it'll... Okay, we're going to sew the first two together. And that's the first row. This will be the second row. And let's see, these should nest. And they do. Now for safety's sake and all that, not really safety's sake, but for the sake of being accurate, I'm pinning that together. And we are sewing all of this at that quarter of an inch. So that is row two completed. Are the first two blocks completed and these will be the last two blocks 
Now, if y'all like seeing me trying these blocks out, because when I do a quilt, this is what I do. I try a block out um, before I actually make a quilt because I like to see if, if the block is going to work for me or not. I'm going to press these and then add that second piece on. Okay, so I have the first sets of blocks done here. Now I need to add my third piece on it. And we are keeping everything at that quarter of an inch once again. And y'all, I will tell you, this here starts out with charm squares. Uh, five inch squares. Perfect for the, if you have a charm pack that you just don't know what to do with it get you a bell of solid or anything that's that would um, coordinate with it you know to make that your background i would say your background would be your lighter color but you can make a darker background you know whatever your preference is uh, i'm making these uh with just some fabric I have left over and I'm using the orange as my light color and you know of course the black is going to be my darker color and I'm using the orange as my background Okay, so now that I have these done, I have to press again, and I will be right back. Okay, y'all, I now have these three done. And how I press them, I press these two the same direction and this one the opposite direction. So when I go to put them together, they will nest. So now I'm going to nest these two and put them together. Y'all, this is a very quick block to make. Very easy. Um, now, notice I am nesting all of my seams and I am pinning all of my seams. Just because I think they come together a lot better when you do nest and pin. Yeah, I don't normally get to see, see this this close up. And you probably can't see this at all either. But I'm doing my best for you because I want y'all to see this block. Because when I saw it, I was like, oh, I really want to make a quilt out of this but I was like of course you know I don't want to use um, a good thing a fabric on it if I don't know what it's going to turn out like and this I mean I know this is good fabric but it is out of my scrap bin I'm smashing my stash. I may be smashing my stash. I don't know yet. But this has been an easy block up to this point for sure. Now getting those seams to come together may be a bit difficult. So now what I'm going to do is add this piece to this. And I probably should press. Let me go in and press. Okay, so that's what it's looking like now. We're going to lay this over. 
nest these seams really good pin it probably should be doing it from this side might be easier to do if with the smaller piece of fabric on top and y'all these these seams are just perfect I mean just perfect I could see doing a nine patch. I mean, a, a disappearing four patch. I could see doing a nine patch too. I did see someone do a disappearing nine patch, but I really liked the four patch. Okay, so I am going to put these two together and then press them. And we will see what that looks like. Okay, we're getting that seam under that needle. And then what we'll do is we'll make sure this last piece is even there. And I will go ahead and press it so we can see what the final product is. Well, friends, look at this block. This block, you will trim it down to eight and a half inches. Is that not so pretty? I love this. For some reason, I feel like it should be turned the other way, but I know it shouldn't be because then this should be turned the other way because if I turn it the other way, then my black is here and it's creating a full piece. So I know this is correct. So friends, would y'all like to join me and doing a disappearing four patch quilt um, this may be a one session kind of thing we may just sew along with it um, it's definitely not going to be like our silver stone our or our grandma's scrap quilt but i do like this block this is definitely possibly a go-to block for me so guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to come and sit with me while I test out a new block. I've never made one of these before, so it is new to me. But I know it's been out there for years and years and years. But I think this will make a very beautiful quilt. And um, I would love it if you'd come along with me. And my Oscar would too. He's sitting here wanting his loves again. He's been very needy today. I don't think he feels too good. Um, but thank you so much. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I do try to respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, I hope you have a very blessed day. Goodbye.